Just been kind of getting ready for the day. I'm gonna go have breakfast and I just need to cover up this little like blemish, but I love my outfit today. Um, I posted it on my Instagram reels. I like to post my outfits there. I don't know, I just love watching those videos. So I do them too, I guess. And I, yeah, so I really love that I'm wearing shorts. Great, I'm so glad that freaking groundhog. Um, I saw an early spring, so had to whip out the shorts today. And honestly, it'll be too hot even for this. So I'm gonna make some coffee though. I'm gonna pick out my mug. I don't know if you guys watch my main channel or not, but I just styled my beautiful spring mugs. These mugs are just gems, but yeah, these three are brand new and this one. I can't use those four because I just got them and I need to actually put them in the dishwasher. Actually, yeah, let's let's go with the mushroom this morning. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll wash these later, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself some coffee. In. And this is my first, this is my first coffee since before I was sick. So it's been like over two weeks. So, oh, look at that steam. That is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Turn it off and then I'm gonna get my collagen. Uh, this stuff right here, pour some of this into there and I'm gonna get my creamer. And let's see. Creamer's back here. Okay, it's still good. <laughs> And I need to clean up this mess. editing the vlog and most times when I edit vlogs I don't actually film myself um, but I'm very thirsty um thought I'd show you guys a little haul so I got these beautiful I mean the, the lighting's not it because the camera like there we go because the sun's behind me, but hold on, Loki's like smelling the, but they have the little, like that's an interesting color. So super cute. And then I actually bought this a long time ago. Um, this is Rainbow Brights, a deck of playing cards, but they're actually from Argentina. Um, so like, look how cute that is. And I actually grew up in Brazil until I was like six, seven years old. Um, 
And my first language I remember speaking was actually Portuguese, but that's neither here nor there because that's just Brazil. But Rainbow Bright was like the very first doll I ever remembered owning. So those took a minute to get here just cause, you know. And then I got, um, she, I'm just so heavily influenced by London style, but it's just a TikToker um, that I watch. And I, she had on a Hard Rock Cafe shirt. And of course I had to go find one. I decided to get the one that said London just because I love, I love England. So um, thought that one was really cute. And this is the same exact one that she has. I think her says it's somewhere in the US. I think it's like a beach town or something. Um, and I don't know if she got it herself or if she thrifted it as well, um, but this is like from an online thrift store. And I did get an oversized fit. I'll throw up a picture if I can of how she wore this. Um, I think she wore this with a white crew neck over her shoulder, like 80s style. And then she wore it with, I think, green Nike shorts. Um, and I found the same green Nike shorts if I wanted to like straight up recreate that entire outfit. And I might, I might get them. I found them on the thrifting website. So I might, I actually got the shorts in white that they're like the same style Nike shorts. They're called Aero Swift. And I actually own them. I own them in black and I had no idea that like London owned any, but I'm not surprised because these Nike shorts actually kind of blew up and I think went pretty viral. I mean, I had no idea when I found them, but so I have them in black and then I saw that London has them in white and she has them in the green. So I got some in white, but I don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger on the green. I mean, it would be a great investment for me because I live in workout apparel, especially during the summer, like the shorts, I'm back to running, I'm back to all that stuff. So for me, I have personally found looking back at where I spend my money, um, I have found that I've never regretted buying athletic wear because it's just, I, I use it all. So anyways, that is the little mini haul. I actually also ordered some New Balance shoes, but they're used also from the thrifting website. I got them for $40. I'm taking a little break to have some coffee. Um, it's, I don't know what time, oh, it's like 12.35, is that right? Yeah. So I am making sure I don't have coffee in the morning and especially not in an empty stomach anymore. I think it messes with my hormones and, and my cortisol levels and all that. So um, not what can be a cause of like some of my stubborn you know, pounds that won't come off, so. But now I've eaten and it's noon, so having coffee now is just fine. I'm also burning this candle. <coughs> and I'm watching Pollyanna. My cough is bothering me, so I have to take my inhaler. I'm now pretty much past the, the sick cough. This is now, unfortunately, the, um, my acute bronchitis cough that happens from just either getting sick or dry cold air. I don't know where my inhaler is. And now I'm gonna take Loki for a walk. Hi guys, I'm just gonna grab the tripod because I want to show you some of the things that I've gotten in the mail. Um, I also stopped at Target this morning. I don't know why. I, I don't even know why I didn't even vlog that. It just hit me though. That never was a thought in my head for some reason. But I got these cute little um, cards. This company, Paprius, Papyrus. I don't know how to say that. But he does fold out fully. So that's cute. I love C3PO. Then we've got R2D2, super sparkly. 
like gorgeous. And then we've got Darth Vader. So I did get these for junk journaling. To show you guys what's going on, I've got great outdoors going on over here, toys everywhere. Sometimes there's just stuff everywhere. I mean, this is actually very relative, relatively clean. I know it is. And obviously that's for the simple fact that I don't have a husband and little kids. And you know, Mike is obviously self-sufficient. But anyways, Lucy of course is still playing. I usually don't let Lucy play into the afternoon. Um, so we'll change that in a minute. I just, let's do True Beverly Hills. Alexa, play Troop Beverly Hills. Here's Troop Beverly Hills. All right, so while that loads, I also placed an order on DoorDash for a burger and fries. Oh, this is not, let's, let's restart. Let's restart that, but I did place an order for some burger and fries, so that's coming. I'll show you guys. These are the bins that I picked up from Walmart. I've already packed them with Christmas stuff. This is all Christmas stuff. And the, my Christmas stuff goes in there, but I have to clean it out because right when you open the door, <laughs> there's just no room for anything. So, like, immediately, stuff. So, in order to go through that door and get all this out there, I have to clean. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys a little haul in case you don't watch my main channel. Actually, let me grab some of the things from here. So, I got, these things are from Amazon, by the way. I got my cough syrup. This stuff. Let's just say, first of all, it was made in Germany. Um, and it's good. But that's all I'm gonna say. Bronchial clear. It's called Terry Naturally. I'll link it down below. I know I should be saying more. I'm like, I don't even know what that was. I think I just spazzed out. I was actually thinking about my burger. I don't know why that happened. It was mid sentence. I was like thinking about my burger, but. This was made in Germany from what I remember researching and it's like an all natural and it's the best cough syrup that's out there. Then I had to do a refill cause I, she's dry. She went dry. I have a little bit left in my travel. I'll show you guys. Here's what I have left in my travel. And it actually came from my big one. I poured the rest of my big one into my travel and then that made my big one completely empty. Um, so had to buy it. I'm still on 62. This is still my favorite. I thought I wanted to try 59. I think that's the new one, the one that's purple. But I think there were notes of, there were floral notes in it of like iris or something. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. But I want to at least pop into like a Sephora and spray it and smell it and see if I would like it. Um, okay. Then you guys have already seen this. I think I showed it, whether it's in this vlog or before, but my hard rock um, graphic tees, I wanna get back into getting some more graphic tees. I know right now Walmart has some really, really good ones. I saw them myself and I passed up on it. And then I saw someone haul it on TikTok and I was like, let me go back. Um, and then I got these Nike shorts again. I think you guys have already seen it. And before I show you the Target stuff, I got these New Balances, but they are used. And I feel like with these, yes, yes, I could totally see my favorite like styling influencer that I watch. I could see her wearing this. Her name's London, I've talked about her, but I could definitely see her wearing this. As a matter of fact, the outfit that she wears with this hard rock tee, she wears it with green shorts that are actually happen to be this exact color. Now my Target haul, I'm gonna link the full video down below cause I'm not gonna spend too much time, but I did pick up these e.l.f. products, peach, because I love them. Um, I'm finding that when I go to Walmart, I'm not finding the viral e.l.f. products. I think they just fly way too fast at Walmart. I also think Walmart, clothing items fly even faster as well um so anyways this this is from target and this is actually what brought me to target was i saw someone haul this and i was like <laughs> has my name written all over it so got it then we've got a little classic black tank 
this beautiful Sherpa, kind of Sherpa, I don't really know. I mean, this material is soft, like uber soft. And the pockets in the front, it gives it such a sporty look to me. So I definitely think like a nice spring walk when it's a little bit chillier in the mornings or in the evenings with Loki. I could just see myself like if I have on shorts and a t-shirt, I can just like throw this on. That's what I envisioned when I got this. Um, then we've got a linen style, but it's not fully linen button up. Self-explanatory, these are just beautiful. They're light, they're thin, it's breathable. Then I got this one, same one, but with a pattern. These are gray stripes. I definitely saw myself being very beachy with that. And then um, a classic black tee. Tell me why this is the first time I'm buying a classic black tee. I don't even know. And of course, white as well. I don't have any white tees at all. I have white shirts from Hanes, but they're not the kind that I would style alone. I use them for layering purposes and I cover and put something on over it like a sweatshirt. <coughs> but these, these are the kind of tees that I could wear with jeans, tuck it in, do a belt, you know, and just make it like a classic, just the classic white tee 90s, the 90s look, the t-shirt, the, the belt, the jeans, you know, I could do flats. I could do all kinds of shoes with this look. Great for jean shorts, skirts, anything. So the fact that these are my first, I actually for the price for $12, I think I might go back and get another black one and another white one just to have two of them because these are the things that I would wear daily. And then my favorites are these shorts. They look like just white shorts. And in that haul video, I talk about them. I talk about how they're just not white shorts to me. There's so much about them that I love. The fact that they have that sweatshirt look. Um, and then I love the stitching. And I just think, I think I need more shorts like this in my wardrobe. Because at the end of the day, I am just a casual person. I don't normally get dressed up. I know style is subjective and it's to each his own. And I love seeing people dress and be happy and love what they're wearing. And I think I finally had to just accept the fact that I'm a basic girl. I am, I wish I could pull off color. I wish I could do patterns. That's not to say that I won't here and there um, because my, my grandma's sweatshirts and vests, those are separate. I will wear those to death. And those have lots of patterns and lots of colors and lots of things going on. But other than that, it's just, that's not what my closet looks like or how I want it to look like, I guess. So anyways, I'm building myself this capsule, basic, classic wardrobe. And lately, I have been going back through my closet once again off camera and I've already started another pile. It's like all, I'll show you, it's all in my bathtub. So I started throwing stuff in a box. Those are like old bras. Like I gotta go back through it, make sure some of it's donate worthy. Um, but there is, I, I can't even go in there right now if I'm being honest, I just can't, but I'm getting there. I'm definitely, getting to a point where I'm converting my closet to what I like to call are my neutrals. My neutrals are white, black, navy, beige, brown, gray, and like a forest army green. All right, we got my food. I literally started diving in because I was so hungry and I was like, oh wait, I mentioned that I would show them, but I got Jake's burgers and beers. So delicious. I've never had them before. I do tear off my burger and I eat them in little bites. And I also do my burgers plain. I don't know why. I don't even ask for ketchup on it. I like to dip it in ketchup, but I basically eat my burger like a child.